Hello and welcome to your second tool tutorial about the text plus tool. In the last session you learned about the text tab and all the modifiers you can apply as well as the advanced and international font controls. In this tutorial we're going to talk about the layout and the transform tab and believe me this will be our creative playground here. So in the layout tab from top to bottom you have the different options of how your text should be aligned on a point, on a frame, circle or path. You can set the center either numerically or by moving the center control directly on screen. You can adjust the Z center, the size, not of the text, not of the font as we do in the font size here, but the actual size of your pseudo image plane here. You also have full control about layout rotation, like the X, the Y and the Z rotation. Let me reset that for a moment. The perspective slider allows to, well, adjust the perspective of the effect you're looking at. The background color allows you to set the color of your background as opposed to the color of the actual text. And finally, in the alignment reveal, you can select how you want to have your text aligned, either to the left of the center control, to the center, to the right, or even variable alignment. So you can choose and even animate how your text is aligned. Let's stick for center. The same counts for the vertical alignment, so you can choose between top, center, bottom, and again, variable alignment here. Let's go for the other options. By default, the text is aligned to point. You can also switch to frame, which actually gives you a frame in which the text is aligned, which is best to be seen if you, for example, switch it to left and top alignment down here. Fusion does not add line breaks, because, well, line breaks are always a creative process, but the frame actually allows you to select the portion of the screen you want your text to appear. It also offers the option to animate rolls and crawls. So if I go to the roll option here, I can easily animate a text roll or a text crawl. The next option on top here is the circle which, as the name gives away, aligns the text to a circular shape. Again, you can select your Z-Center, the size of the circle, the width, and of course the perspective if you introduce rotation. Actually, let me switch to the library for a moment and get another shading here. I will talk about the library in another tutorial. Steel highlight looks good for me. That looks much more interesting. Right, back to the layout tab. And actually, let me enter some more text here. Bring the size down a bit. Let's talk about the layout rotation for a second. Right now we're in circle mode and actually I want to bring the size of my circle down a little bit, like so. And then set my rotation order to Z, Y, X. That means I could, for example, animate my Z angle. And at the same time, like modify my X angle, bring the perspective up. And you have something really cool like this. We will talk about the Transform tab in depth later on, but just as a quick hint, if you go to your characters here, you also can influence your individual character rotation and, for example, do something like this. Set it like to minus 90, so the characters are upright. And in the Text tab, let's go to the International Font Controls and set the direction to right to left and in the Transform tab also set the character Z angle 
to minus 180. So now, of course, combining this with the layout rotation, you can do something like this. So that's a very cool effect, of course, you can use in your motion graphics, etc., etc. Let me reset this for a second and go to path mode. So path mode allows you to actually draw a path on which the text then is not only aligned, but you can use all the path controls, all the spline controls you know from other controls, or actually connect the path to a paint mask or to another polygon mask. Let's go for center here. And then you can simply animate the position on path and there you have your text going along any free form path in any way you prefer. Of course again this can be combined with the layout rotation to give you something like this. Right, let's reset this one here. There we go, with our original text again. Go to the library and get our nice steel highlight shading here. Right, the transform tab. The transform tab gives you individual control about your characters, your words and your lines. So it actually it makes sense to add another line. Bring the size down a little bit. In the transform tab you have individual control about your character spacing, your character pivot. So if you for example do a character rotation around X, you can actually influence where it rotates around. Again, a very, very cool effect, very easily done. Of course, the same counts for the y-axis and the z-axis. You can individually share your characters on x and on y, and of course you can influence the size in x and y independently. The same counts for words. So again, you have word spacing. You have your word pivot. You have individual word rotation, like so. You have the Z pivot, so you can change that as well. And the same counts again for lines. So adjust your line spacing, animate your lines, go into the rotation, individual lines here, like so, like so, do something like that. Again, you see, this is really a creative playground, giving you lots of opportunities, lots of things you can change, you can fiddle around, you can play with, you can animate all these. So the layout and the transform tab are those you really want to play with, you want to spend some time with, and believe me, it's fun. Right, that's it for this tutorial. We're gonna go into the other tabs in the next one. Thanks and stay tuned.